In what is a puzzling turn of events, we are continuing our coverage of the Flint Gap Fire, which has been an active blaze near Cades Cove in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park for over two weeks now. The last time we released an update on this fire, news sources were reporting that authorities with the National Park all but stated this fire was nearly over and had little possibility of significant growth. Yet here we are in mid-September hearing news that the fire has spread to nearly 30 acres. If you're new to this story or simply need or want an update, we will provide a quick rundown of the fire since its beginning now. If you don't need that update, feel free to skip a couple minutes to the most recent fire information. Here we go. Right now, Great Smoky Mountains National Park crews are working on a small fire near Hannah Mountain. Officials say the fire is estimated to be around two acres in size and no structures are threatened right now, but they say they've ordered both aerial and ground attack resources. By the time updates arrived on the 27th, the fire spread to 10 acres. Here's that clip. An acre wildland fire is burning near Hannah Mountain. That is south of Abrams Falls in the Smokies. The Tennessee National Guard is helping dump buckets of water over the fire. It was first reported last night. Crews continue to help this afternoon. Again, we're talking 10 acres right now. Uh, Smoky Mountain Rangers say no buildings are threatened at this point. However, several camps and trails are closed due to the threat of fire danger. On the 28th, reports had the fire growing to 23 acres. Conditions in the area were very dry and humidity was low. Let's listen in. Wildfire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park has now grown to 23 acres. Flames broke out Monday evening near Hannah Mountain, south of Abrams Creek. National Park leaders say they're bringing in more equipment to fight the flames. The Tennessee National Guard is also assisting. Several roads, trails and backcountry campsites are now closed because of that fire. Investigators are looking into what sparked it. However, the firefighters and Tennessee National Guard swept the perimeter of the fire and discovered they had previously overestimated its size. Check this out. The Flint Gap fire is now estimated to be 16.3 acres thanks to more accurate mapping. As we have been telling you, the fire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park continues to burn. Firefighters were actually able to walk the perimeter to map it out. Today, crews continue to monitor the area and identify how crews can safely confine and contain the fire. The investigation into what actually started it, still under investigation, still underway. No buildings are threatened, fortunately, but several campsites and trails are closed. You can find more information about that on our website with this story at WATE.com. Then, for the next several days, it was crickets. We heard absolutely nothing from the Park Service with regard to the status of this fire. We were left with the images released on the first day of coverage. Many people who found our first video were commenting about wanting an update. In that interval, we contacted the park offices each day inquiring about new news. In each call, we received the same response. The fire is under investigation, followed by a list of closures due to the fire. And they stated that was all they could give us at the time. Speaking of the closures, the following remain closed due to potential fire danger. Backcountry campsites 14, 15, and 16, Parsons Branch Road, Rabbit Creek Trail from Abrams Creek to Cades Cove, and Hannah Mountain Trail from Parsons Branch Road to Little Bottom Trail. Then on September 1st, the rain came down in buckets in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Multiple craft shops at the Smoky Mountains Arts and Crafts Village on Glade Road. You can see water flowing downstairs and throughout the parking lot. Multiple businesses having several inches of water and mud flowing into their store. Some businesses may have to be completely gutted. Others may only need a few, a few feet of drywall cut out and extensive mold remediation. Storm team said radar indicated between four and five inches of rain fell over the course of three hours leading to flash flood warning and then that ensuing damage. So just as park officials predicted, the high humidity, lack of wind and rain we're going to do work on the Flint Gap fire. So it seemed. It's important to note, just as in other areas of the country, the weather is a fickle and odd beast. Rain in Gatlinburg, even several inches, does not mean the same for, say, Cades Cove. At times, it can be pouring in the mountains, and Gatlinburg does not get a drop. Same with Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. But finally, on September 3rd, we get our first update in a few days. 
Let's listen in. New at four, we are learning what sparked a wildfire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Park rangers say a lightning strike caused it. These are new pictures from the Park Service. The fire was reported on August 26th near Hannah Mountain. Rangers are not sure exactly when it started. That fire has grown to 17 acres now. Rangers don't believe it'll grow much more in the next several days because of the high humidity and the lack of strong winds we're seeing right now. Higher humidity, lack of strong winds, and the presence of fire crews should be enough to keep this fire from growing. I mean, according to reports, it seemed conditions were good to prohibit fire growth, right? Information this afternoon on a wildfire that's been burning for close to two weeks now in the Smoky Mountains. Park rangers say the Flint Gap fire caused by a lightning strike and drought conditions in our area is growing. The Blount County Fire Protection District shared this picture on its social media account. Fortunately, no buildings are in any danger, and it, this is deep inside the National Park boundary. But if you do see smoke from the Walland or maybe the Happy Valley area, we're told don't be alarmed. First responders are actively working to fight it. Fire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is still burning more than two weeks after it was first reported. Officials believe a lightning strike sparked that fire near Hannah Mountain on August 26th. Park rangers say it's now up to 28 acres and is not contained. They do say rain is in the forecast for this weekend, that it will help slow the fire, but not extinguish it because of the buildup of leaves and plant material in that area. Now I'm no fire expert, and maybe my naivety is the source of some of this take, but this is the most bizarre fire story I've ever followed. The Flint Gap fire, especially with the reports of favorable conditions, has persisted much longer than I expected. On the other hand, crews fighting fires in steep and dangerous conditions have their work cut out for them on any size fire in mountainous terrain. We want to extend a huge thank you to the fire crews for working hard to finally contain this fire for good. Until then, we will keep our ear to the ground for any new updates moving forward. If you're visiting the area anytime soon, there are some things we can all do as it pertains to fire safety in and around the park. It's important to remember this area is entering a time of year when drought conditions frequently occur. If you plan to visit the Smokies in these autumn months, please be fire conscious. Be sure to check the weather and drought conditions. Burn bans occur regularly during these drought seasons, so please refrain from building campfires during these bans. If you build a fire, ensure the fire is completely doused once finished. Don't play with matches in our national park, which is pretty much common sense. And this last one goes for any time of year. Please don't dispose of your cigarettes in our forests. After all, the National Park belongs to all of us. For more information on this story or for Smoky Mountain vacation information, be sure to check out our website, allaboutthesmokies.com. Allaboutthesmokies.com is your comprehensive resource for all things Smokies. We have an exciting announcement that will be rolling out in the next week with our website. We are partnering with the Authority of Deals in the Great Smoky Mountains Best Red Guide. For decades, Best Red Guide has been providing families vacation in the Smokies with the best deals on everything to do in the area. We'll be launching a new coupon page brought to you by Best Red Guide. That's right, the best deals in the Smokies will be found right here on the All About the Smokies coupon page. The link to the site can be found in the description of this video. Well, that does it for us. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, like if you liked it. Comment if you're a fan. Subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.